In this video, we're gonna be looking at how to get a map box set up for $37, so stay tuned. I think map boxes are great. They're a powerful, powerful tool, and in the right hands and in the right situations, they can be used to really add to your image and help you with the technical side of filtration and controlling your image. The problem is I think a lot of people get map boxes and they don't really need them. They think they're cool and it's kind of a trip, kind of a gear porn thing. And map boxes are really at the top of the list for unnecessary tools for a lot of shooters. And you need to really ask yourself, when are you gonna use four by four filters? Ask yourself, be honest and really think about it. And a lot of people will then say, well, I think it really adds to my rig and makes it look more professional. Um, or they'll say something like, well, I need it to control light. Okay, so those are all very valid points, uh, but there's something you can do and save a lot of money if all you're getting a matte box for is looks or using it to kind of flag your lens to keep light out of it. So I've come up with a solution, really like it, and it works really well. I've been using it myself, and the reason I'm doing this video is because I also really like matte boxes, and it's very tempting to spend a lot of money on one, but here's a quick tip on how you can save a ton of money and still have the lighting control. So what this is, it's very simple. It's simply a top flag and a monitor arm. Uh, if you don't have a top flag, you can buy just a top flag from Dinkum Systems. I'll put a link and it's 27 bucks. Gives you a nice little top flag. And, uh, but what I've done is I had an old map box, one of the first ones I bought, and it was really cheap. Don't really use it much. It's uh, not very efficient. Um, but I took the top flag and I drilled a hole and this is a quarter 20 size hole, just a little bigger than a quarter 20. Um, and I went ahead and grabbed a monitor arm, attached it to my camera. If you don't have a cage like this, you could easily, um, you know, set it up. So it comes off the hot shoe or something like that, but it's a small, short seven inch monitor arm. Then I took this top flag, drilled a small hole, and then you just simply mount it to the top. And then I have another one of these little um, quarter 20, you know, accessories that comes with the monitor arm. And then I attach that to the top. So the flag is sandwiched in between the two. Tighten that down. And then you can use the um, knob here on the monitor arm to adjust the position of it. You can actually flip it over so it's like this. Get it right over the lens. And boom, now you have a top flag for your camera. And this is awesome. Not only are you saving a ton of money, but it's really easy to adjust. Um, and a lot of time what will happen is you'll get kind of one angle where the light is hitting your lens. So this is great because you can simply adjust it. So do something like that. And now I have light protection from this side of the camera. So really simple solution. I've been using it. I really think it works well. Um, and with that monitor arm, it really can adjust to any lens. So I have the lens zoomed in right now, but if you had a really short, um, you know, prime, you could just kind of stack it up like that. And now you have a very, very nice, very affordable, very simple, elegant, and efficient matte box. Now, if you wanted to add filters four by fours to this without buying a full fledged matte box, there's another thing you could do to kind of add to this. High Tech Format makes these filter trays that attach directly to the lens, and it has three stages. So you can add multiple different filters without having an entire map box. So you could kind of couple that with this top flag, and that would give you an even more flexible, but affordable, easy to use map box setup. Now, if you're finding that, oh, Caleb, you know, I'm, I'm finding I'm using a lot of filters, but I still don't want to spend a lot of money because I don't use it that much, I would definitely recommend checking out Genesis Tech's matte box light kit. I've done a review on it. You can pick it up for around $150 and uh, that's going to give you a little more flexibility and it's a clip on matte box. It's still minimal, but uh, you're not going to be spending, you know, a month's rent, depending on where you live, um, on an actual matte box. So look for more tutorials and reviews at DSLR Video Shooter. If you like stuff like this, I'm trying to do more quick tips like this. Uh, if you have any recommendations, definitely let me know or send me a link and maybe we'll get it on the website. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.